Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Once again, my name is Shioma and I am the Dainty Doula here on YouTube. This has been a great journey so far. I love connecting to the community here. So if you're new, definitely subscribe to my channel and introduce yourself in the comments as I would love to meet you and be able to hear your story. Today's video is going to be all about third trimester tea and red raspberry leaf tea. I believe those two really just go hand in hand when it comes to this stage in pregnancy and what people are looking for when they're choosing an herbal tea that may help them along um, their third trimester. The greatest myth when it comes to third trimester tea is that it's going to induce your labor and start contractions right away. This is not true. These teas were not designed um, as a special witch's brew or old wives tale. These teas are just a blend of different herbs that may help your uterus and prepare for labor versus um, start labor at the moment of drinking the tea. For me, it has definitely been an experience. I've had this tea for about a week now and I'm spacing it out. It does say on the box that you should have one to three servings daily but I am just spacing it out based on my own experience because when I did have a cup of this tea the first night, it was around 8.30 p.m. and by 9 to 9.30 I was in bed and I could feel a little bit of cramping throughout the night and I wasn't sure if that was because of the tea and that was how it would react to my uterus. And then a couple days later when I had the tea again, I did feel some cramping just as I was moving around the house during the day. So I do think that this tea works really well in your third trimester in helping your uterus prepare for labor. The cramping that I'm experiencing is not Braxton Hicks and it's not um, a preterm labor. So I don't think that this tea is going to impact when my baby comes in any way. Um, it's not something that I'd want to experience one to three times daily. So what's best for me, in my opinion, is to just have it a couple times a week to really keep my um, abdomen and uterus active and preparing for baby's big day, whenever that's going to be, sometime in the next few weeks. If you're a mom who's in her last trimester and really looking for ways to induce your labor, please contact your um, healthcare provider or physician before trying anything like a third trimester tea um, multiple times a day to try and get those contractions going strong. You wanna make sure that you're doing what's safest and healthiest for your baby. I have joined a lot of baby groups on Facebook. You know, those ones where everyone has a similar due date or is in a similar location and we're just kind of tracking along each other's pregnancy journeys. I really love it. So my Facebook is filled with babies, babies, babies right now. And a lot of babies due in April are coming a little early. And it's tough, trust me, being in my third trimester. I know how it feels to want to meet your baby so bad and really be looking at your calendar every single day and kind of wondering when the big day is going to be. But I do strongly believe that babies come in their own time and being as close to full term as possible is the healthiest thing that you can do. This is not a video on how to make your labor go faster or your baby to get here sooner with their trimester tea. This is just kind of debunking that myth altogether because I know there's a lot of moms out there who think that this is what's going to happen and it's just not the best mindset to be in at this point. Another really interesting question that I've seen online is, can I share my third trimester tea? And in my opinion, the answer is yes. There are no magic ingredients in here, as I've stated before, that's going to induce your labor or cause any negative health problems for someone who might not be pregnant. You wouldn't wanna give somebody who isn't in their third trimester this tea because the stimulation to the uterus might have a different impact for them versus for someone who is closer to their labor and delivery date. The ingredients on this tea uh, start with red raspberry leaf, so that is a big, marker that you want to see on your third trimester tea that's what's going to interact with your uterus and your abdomen and really help with those practice contractions and preparing for baby there are red raspberry leaf teas that don't have a blend of other herbs that you can buy that may have a stronger effect however i've heard that they're very bitter and not very pleasant to drink so i wanted something that i knew would taste good it smells good this one has mint in it alfalfa leaf um chamomile rose hip and the third trimester organic blend tea by earth mama is really highly reviewed earth mama is a huge brand that is going to be commonly found um, in different 
baby stores as well as places like Shoppers Drug Mart and their tea section if, or your local grocery store. I have not seen a red raspberry leaf tea in person, just online. So Amazon.ca is a really good resource for you if you want to find something specific, just order it online. Being my third trimester at this point has taken a big toll on my mental and physical health. So these small things that I can do every single day I find are such a blessing because having that feeling of anxiousness or uncertainty is really, really, really hard. And I know that people in their third trimester are going to be experiencing um, a lot of what ifs and questions. So doing small things for yourself and really monitoring your mental health is so important. And tea is a really good way to just take a moment out of your day, either um, in the morning or at night, sometime when you have a free second to just calm down and relax. That's why I really wanted a third trimester tea specifically because it helps me feel like I'm doing something really good for my body and helping me prepare for this baby in just even the smallest way. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that it helped clarify any questions you may have had about red raspberry leaf tea or third trimester teas in general. I would love to connect with you even more in the comment section. Let me know if you've had an interesting experience with third trimester teas like I have, feeling any cramps or physical changes, or if it's more of a neutral calming effect for you and it's just like a nice herbal tea you like to have. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and let's keep this community growing. Cheers. <laughs>